Question, inshallah. Yes. Uh, Eid al-Adha and uh, uh, Eid al-Fitr with uh, Mecca. Now, the question is, in Saudi Arabia, the king decrees when the new month starts. Is that not in direct conflict with the principles of Islam? MashaAllah, my brother, if you ask people regarding the Eid al-Adha, uh, they will deny that the king decrees it. They will deny that. And we will continue saying, no, he does. So because we have a conflict, I have one policy. Have your Eid today, have it tomorrow, have it the third day, or don't have it. But don't fight. That's my policy. Because for me, you'll never ever be able to bring the globe on one day. And we need to be mature about it. You have Eid, someone to follow this country, the other country, some don't want to do it, someone to... Let them have it their way. Brother, Eid Mubarak to you. You do it today, Eid Mubarak. You do it tomorrow, Eid Mubarak. I'm happy I've got two Eids. You do it the third day, I'm happy I've got a third day. Alhamdulillah. I'm excited, you South African, mashallah. The sale at my shop will extend three days, inshallah. So we look at it from a positive way. I am fed up of the fact that people are fighting over these things. To be honest with you, it's a blessed day. Shaitan comes to us and makes us fight. Sisters, brothers, whatever convinces you, do it that way. But this, remember, something else might have convinced someone else. Let them do it their way. It doesn't mean it's, if it's not my way. This guy, he's following Saudi. He's not a proper Muslim. This guy is following this. He's not a proper... Relax. Those energies can be used in a more beautiful way. Come out and say, brother, Eid Mubarak. I'll be having Eid tomorrow, but have a blessed day. And here's some sweet dishes. Don't forget to give me mine tomorrow, inshallah. Make something good out of it. Why do we need to get excited? Another thing is we all point fingers. We don't know reality sometimes. And sometimes our leaders are also quite guilty sometimes of, of you know, should I say, adding fuel to the fire, so to speak. I'm sitting here. I know I'm in a position of leadership. But think about what I just said. I've tried to pacify in the sense that I've tried to say, listen guys, let them have their way. You have your way. We don't need to fight. Yes, follow what you firmly believe is right. Let the others follow what they firmly believe is right. Alhamdulillah. Well, how exactly they do it, they're answerable to Allah. I know once I asked a question that how come they always see the moon first? And I found a proper answer because they use telescopes and everyone else doesn't. That's the reason. And according to Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal, you are allowed to use telescopic vision. So they will always see the moon before anyone else. That's what it is. Because they're busy seeing it. Even if it's really, if you can't see it with the naked eye, they can see it. And they're not lying about it. They can see it. But it's what they're seeing it with. That's what I've understood it as. You get my point? But I still don't want to fight. I don't even want to argue about that point because it's irrelevant. And who knows, someone might say, no, you're wrong. So no problem. I'm not bothered. I just follow the moon of my area and I'm happy with it. Subhanallah. When Cape Town makes Eid, I make Eid with Cape Town. The man cakers are doing such a great job. MashaAllah. <laughs> <laughs> MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. Allah bless you. I love you, my brother. Wallahi, I've, and, and everyone here, you can have Eid today, tomorrow, or you might sleep through all the both of the Eids. I still love you. You're still my brother, man. Come on. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I need to hug this man. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Jazakumullah khair, my brothers and sisters, I've enjoyed myself. I've let you in on a few of my own qualities. I hate it when, when you know, it, it is there. We do have differences. We will never be able to be on one opinion. Never. Learn to accept, learn to adopt. Look, there's a difference of opinion. And learn to respect another opinion. Learn to respect it. Some people might not want to participate with you in certain things you do. Some people might want to do things you don't participate in. No problem. Let them have it their way. Alhamdulillah. You want to discuss it from the perspective of knowledge. You want to discuss it properly. You want to look into its depth. You may do so. No harm. But we don't want to let that divide us further. We are such a divided ummah that at this moment, this juncture, this particular time in our history, we really need voices that bring us together. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us all. Jazakumullah khair. Love you all for the sake of Allah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad wa sallamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.